Phil Vicker is in the kitchen with a quick and easy midweek meal. This, oh, I mean, it smells delicious. Your miso salmon tray bake. I've already started. Have you? <laughs> Absolutely. You could have told me. I would have done too. Well done. It does cook in 20 minutes. Here it is. Now, you've got to get a little bit of prep right. And once wow. the prep's done, oh, that, it will cook. In actual 15 minutes, I've done it, but I tend to like my salmon slightly undercooked. Yeah. Because yeah. I just think it's nicer. Yeah. Now, let's, let's talk about... Can I start while you're doing you it? You carry on. Always for lunch, you don't. Let's talk about the sauce. Now, this is probably the hardest part here. You make a sticky sauce, which you're going to cook the vegetables in, but also the salmon. Mm -hmm. You then reduce that a little bit further mm. so it glazes the salmon at the end. So, here it is. In this pan here, I've got rice wine vinegar. In that goes. Mm. OK. I've got mirin, which is a, a rice wine, in a sweet white wine that goes into there. Then I've got soy sauce, mm -hmm. like a little bit of soy sauce. <laughs> it goes quite a lot of soy sauce there. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> 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 however, <laughs> oh, however, just a jack's gone in. <laughs> let me finish. <laughs> a little goes a long way, as you'll see in a second. Ooh. And then I've got <laughs> fresh garlic. So I've got one bean here. Um, <laughs> a little bit of a little bit of garlic into there, mm. like that. Then spring onions or onions or chopped onions, red onions, whatever you like. You can either put this point here and cook them down or you can spread them on top of the salmon after. It's up to you mm -hmm. or even the vegetables. In they go. And then I've got one tablespoon of brown miso paste, white miso paste to do exactly the same. This adds a lovely, deep, umami yeah. flavour to the whole thing. Yeah. It gives the whole sauce body. Mm -hmm. So it brings all those lovely ingredients together. OK, in that goes. Can you get that, can you get that anywhere? Yeah, the miso all paste? the supermarkets mm -hmm. now sell it. Okay, some amazing. in tubes as well, some in, in, in glass jars like that one there. Mm. And then sugar, just to balance the rest of the the sugar right. and uh, sorry the, the vinegar and the soy sauce and everything else and you just bring that together break that down bring that to the boil now be careful because when you bring that to the boil if you don't mix it at the start here it'll catch very very quickly right or burn so bring it up so just stir it mixing. exactly and once it's come to the boil turn it down and simmer it to roughly half the original volume probably take about 10 minutes okay, okay that's the that's the hardest part of this of this whole dish oh, so and you'll end up like this Lovely sauce. The sauce here. is lovely. It's yeah. so nice. Now, joking aside, a little does go a long way. Right, okay? really. So what we do <clears throat> in this tray here, I have vegetables. Now let's get let's get rid of those two. These are pak choy or bok choy, mm. which is an Asian vegetable, chopped up into into half centimetre pieces. I've got about 100 grams of spinach. The bag's about 125 to 175 grams. There's about half a bag into there. Mix that up. OK, then I'm adding, some may frown at this, but I love these things. These are frozen beans. Frozen beans in a bag lovely. for a pound. Easy. I think sometimes if you want them to look nice and green for certain dishes, then probably fresh beans are, are, are probably the best way to go. However, if you're going to braise them in the oven or cook them in the oven, I think they're fantastic. And if you were going to use fresh, would you still put them in at the same point? I would probably put them in a little bit later on to right. keep that colour. Okay. Now, I've also got edamame beans here. Edamame beans, I should say, which are soya beans. Now, you can buy these frozen as well. These are a pound. Pound a bag. Pound a bag. In they go. OK, completely frozen. It's so, honestly, it's so I can't fresh. taste that they're frozen. No, you no. can't. Exactly. And that's the whole point. You mix those up like so. OK. And then... This is an optional extra. I put bean sprouts in. I love bean sprouts. I love bean sprouts. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't like them. Well, when my kids were growing up, they didn't like the, the texture, because sometimes they can be quite slimy yeah. if you don't cook yeah. them right. Yeah. So uh, in this environment, when you're cooking it in a sauce like this, I think it works really, really mm -hmm. well. So half a bag of those into there, sprinkle them on top like that. And then salmon. I'm using 175 gram pieces of salmon with the skin on, OK? All the bones are taken out. That way, if you overcook it slightly, you can still lift it off. Right. If the skin isn't on there, it tends to fall apart. Yeah. Right. So what you need to do is put the salmon straight on top. Two, three, do that a little bit. Four. So I love it. Like that. I'm going to wash my but hands. so delicious. Very quickly here. And then you need to put half of the sauce that you've made over there onto the salmon. Okay? Right, OK. So you just want to spoon that on. The salmon, like that, over really top. I really wish my son ate salmon. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't. He, doesn't, he just well, won't what, even try it. What, if, well, yeah, what about if it had a sauce like this? He just, I, know, I just want him to try it and I yeah. know well, he, he would love it. This well, is always go, what I say. Just try it once and then you can tell me you don't like it. Yes. That's what bugs that's me. A, that's yeah. a I'm like, well, If you don't like he it after you've tried it. it, that's fine. Does he eat any fish at all? He won't even try calamari. Oh, what about really? tuna <laughs> or cod? I love the way that was the biggest shock. Like, he won't even try calamari. He just will not try it. I'd love to be making this. It's not like... It would be all wasted. A regular thick calamari. Not... No, it's but like... it's fish, isn't it? Yes, but so it's all fish in yeah. general, just yeah. not the salmon itself. It just will not have fish.
Mm. I think he'd like the salmon. Well, you could try it with chicken. He'd love that. Thin slice of chicken. Yeah. And then the, mm. yeah. So it goes. Anyway, so this goes into the oven for around ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It depends what the oven's set on 220, gas 7, so it's quite hot. Quite high, OK. Quite high. So you want to cook it really, really quickly. Now, I've got one here which you put in halfway. So this has been... This is about nine minutes now, and I'll bring right. it over to you. And you'll see... Look at that. ..that it's starting to cook down now. Oh. Now, you can use this sauce here, or you can add a little bit more sauce. Oh, you're more. basting it. So more you just keep basting... As I said to you before, a little of the sauce goes a long, long way. Yeah. And cos okay. you've gone in and done that again, is that what's going to give you that glaze? Exactly. So it almost right. like it'll cook onto the salmon yeah. okay. itself. Now, I don't, as I said earlier, I don't particularly like my salmon overcooked. No. So I would give it perhaps 15 minutes. Take it out. Put this it on is the perfect. Side. What has this had? What that's we're around, eating that's now? around about 19 minutes, but it has been resting for the same amount of time it's been cooked. Right, OK. So that's really important. So the residual heat of that salmon, now you've put it into there, will carry on cooking it under foil. Mm -hmm. Now, Honestly, this is one that I did sister. slightly earlier. So, so I let this rest for 10 minutes. And what you do is you lift this up, lift off the foil. I've only done that to hold it, as you'll see there. So you've done that after you've taken it out of the oven, yeah. you put the foil on. Just mm. to stop it, um, you keep the moisture in it and yeah. keep it warm, OK? Then, if it's cooked properly, you better, should be able to lift off the salmon, see? Ooh, that it break in. Yeah. So that goes on to there. Now, I do put sesame oil in sometimes. That's the reason why I've left it I there. I sesame oil. Me too. I'm not a great lover of it, so... It's uh, strong. It's it very strong, strong. It's like petrol. It. If you're not careful, it will go here. It smells <laughs> there. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, a bit like fish sauce. I'm not a huge lover, but if you're going to put it into here, two teaspoons is the absolute most you need. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. I'll both overpower yeah. it. Now, going back to here, so I've taken the salmon off, and then you want to just mix up all these lovely vegetables in the sauce, like that. Look, just like, look at that. Key, so you'll see the sorry, beans. The sauce is just killing it. Mm. Yeah, and it Amazing. goes. Beans go on top of there, and bean what, sprouts. What I actually, when, when this plate was in front of me, this is a, this is a good size of rice. I think I yeah. do too much rice when I'm serving up and just everyone goes, I'm full. It's a, yeah. a little portion is good. And, and these come in little tiny packs that you can microwave. So you'll get three portions oh. out of two. OK. So a little goes a long way. The only thing I have done, microwaved it, a little bit of oil, because mm -hmm. I quite like that oily texture, yeah. and a few black sesame seeds I on love top, it. if you have them like that, and there it is. It's stunning. Restaurant worthy. And so easy. Now, yeah. if but here you go, Al. If your son doesn't like it, fish, try chicken, thin pieces of, of pork fillet. Yeah. All those things will okay. work yeah. exactly try at the same time. Thank yeah. you. My yeah. pleasure. I think with the sauce on, he'll be distracted. I think he will, yeah. Do you think? Yeah, of course he will. I, I just think he'll know. <laughs> <laughs> knows, as soon as I start cooking fish, he knows straight away. Yeah. Like prawns. Okay. He won't even have a prawn. Okay, yeah. <laughs> He's not normal. He doesn't even up. have calamari. <laughs> Thank, you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Phil. That was brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Now, for all those details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from mm. our This Morning chefs, you just need to go to our This Morning yes. app. It's great. The